Hey, what's up everybody? It's Titan with Titans of CNC and today is Sunday. So my family's up there getting ready. We're gonna go to church, go have some brunch and relax on this awesome Sunday. And I thought I would just start a vlog right now and basically uh, talk to you guys about making money, about work, right? Pick up from where we left off. Yesterday was amazing because I walked outside my hotel. There was an American flag. There was 200 Navy SEALs. We changed the entire concept of what we were going to talk about and just went freestyle, right? And today's freestyle too because I just have a lot of experience in this and a lot of people are complaining about money. Hey, look at my boy Maui. Maui, what's up, big boy? What's up, big boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, my Frenchie. What's up, big boy? Anyway, this, this is my boy Maui right here. Uh, be careful coming to my backyard, man. This guy's going to meet you with fierceness. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, so, I mean, that's cool, right? I mean, this is what we're doing with the vlogs. We're getting to know each other. We're getting to know each other. So, you know, I've, I've, ran, I've ran many companies. I've done many things, you know, from, you know, aerospace machining to you know, building the TV show to building the academy, you know, it's all because of a programmer's mind, you know, being able to dissect things, prioritize, and just work the problems, right? So that's exactly what I want to talk to you guys about. If you want to make money in this game, you need to basically, you know, kind of check the attitude at the door and solve the right problems, all right? So, I mean, let me just talk to the young guys out there entering the trade. You know how somebody says, oh, the, your business card, like that is like your workmanship right there. That reflects, you know, the professionalism in that business card reflects who you are because somebody's going to hold on to that, right? And it's the same thing with a website, with anything. You know, I would say to the young guys out there, you know, the way that you dress matters, right? You want to dress professional. You want to dress, you know, for the occasion. You want to, you want to have safety first, right? And you want to like have a good attitude about it. So... So make sure that you dress well. Make sure that you have a great attitude, right? That you're you're enjoying coming to work, that you're lifting people up. You know, negativity brings negativity. Positivity brings positive, right? When people say, you know, oh, if you're not 15 minutes early, you're 15 minutes late, right? So, you know, think about that, right? You know, even if you're not getting paid, showing up early, preparing yourself, for the journey ahead, ahead, you know, and, and getting your coffee, doing different things so that you can be on the floor, you know, in at the right time to get the machines up and running or to get your, you know, parts dialed in, you know, by the time that clock hits eight o'clock or six o'clock or five o'clock, whatever it is, right? So just making sure that you're there on time, making sure that you leave, you know, a little bit late right a few minutes after you know people who are like you know looking at the clock and trying to get out like you know five minutes before i mean that reflects badly when it comes to the company looking at you right if you want to be a beast in this in this industry and you want to make money you need to put the time in you need to show people that you're taking ownership of that company right of those parts when you're on that floor make sure Make sure that you care about what you're doing. Take pride in, in making more parts than the person from the night shift or the day shift. You know, take, take great pride in your, you know, penmanship on how you do your documentation. Take great pride in your desk area and how everything is organized in your inspection tools, making sure that everything's clean and precise and neat and orderly, right? Making sure that your table in front of the desk, in the front of the machine is like perfect, right? And, and really like just looking at all ways inside that shop that you can actually up your game and bring greater efficiency and productivity, right? So just 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 look for every area from the, the way that you grab tools, the way that you take steps, you know, things we do in our shop is you know, put buckets of water so we can actually open the doors, take the parts, put them in water, you know, blow it off, boom, put new parts in, close the door, press the button and then take the parts out of water, blow them off you know, waste the time blowing them off and doing all that. Because if, if, the, if the green light ain't green, 
then you're wasting money, right? So if the spindle ain't turning, you ain't earning. So, you know, there's just a lot of things, you know, going and talking to your boss and saying, hey, you know, do you have books? You know, are there good websites? Are there, you know, YouTube channels? Are there, you know, anything that I can do to actually improve my skills? Even if they say no, they're like, oh, this guy, hold on one quick second. They're like, this guy or this girl is like serious about their job and it's gonna make them have their eyes on you, right? So efficiency, productivity, having a good attitude, you know, being dressed good, you know, how you deal with other employees. Are you lifting them up? If, if, they're, if they don't care about their jobs and they're just talking, 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 talking and you get into that little, you know, mix right there, you're not doing yourself any favors, right? If you're talking to other people, talk about productivity, talk about work, talk about, you know, how to lift things up, you know, put the work when you're there and clocked in, you're that employers, you're on their time, right? So waste, put your energy in to actually like making things happen. All right. And, and no excuses. A lot of people now are like, oh, my boss, he won't let me program. Oh, my boss, he, he won't show me how to set up. Oh, my boss this, my boss that. You know what? We, we live in an a information age. So you can actually, if you want to do it, it's right there for you. If you're not learning programming, it's just because you don't want to learn programming. You know, that's what separates us, you know, is, is people willing to put in the time and go find that problem and solve it and those that don't, right? So now you, can, you guys can actually go to academy.titansofcnc.com and teach yourself how to program. Just go up to few, uh, go to resources, grab Fusion, download it as a hobbyist. If you're not making money on it and you're just learning, download it as a hobbyist and basically go to education, drop down to building blocks, start off with the building blocks, all the prints, everything's all, all right there to download. Or you can just go over to learn CAD, learn CAM, basically teach yourself, right? And then, and then just start making your parts, making your programs. You know, watch every video that we put out. Look at the surface foot, the chip load, the type of material. Keep a book, you know, just start perfecting everything. And then take your laptop in and show it to your boss. Oh, check out this thing that I programmed. Oh, check out this part that I designed. Take, guess what? When they see the initiative, even if they didn't plan on giving you a raise, even if they didn't plan on giving you a job, meaning like, you know, taking you to a higher level, even if they didn't plan on it, They'll end up doing it because everybody loves somebody who takes the initiative, who loves this trade, and who's honing their skills. You want to make money? Hone your skills. So many people are saying, oh, you know, my job doesn't pay me. Well, are you are you awesome? Right? You know what I mean? Like, that's hard for me to, like, dictate because I'm just like, if you're awesome, then you deserve money. If you're making them huge money and making it happen, then you deserve money, Right? So we got to be like careful, you know, what we say and how we say it and make sure that we're worthy of that money that we, you know, older guys saying that, oh, I'm 54 years old this guy yesterday, you know, I can't get a job. Well, are you on the academy? Are you learning the latest techniques? Are you like, where are you at on programming? Does if a part like somebody can make a part and somebody will make it in two minutes, somebody will make it four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, somebody will take 30 minutes to do it. They're like, oh, I, I make the part. I make, I make parts all day long. Well, how long did it take you, right? Because that 30 minutes, then I'm basically doing the parts for free. If we do it in, you know, eight minutes, then basically I'm not making any money. If you make it in two or four minutes, then maybe we're actually making money and you deserve money because you're efficient. So where are you on the scale as far as talent? Make sure that you hold yourself accountable and make sure that you are actually making it happen, all right? Employers, so I'm gonna do another one of these more towards the employer, right? But about training and going after the work. I'm gonna do one probably tomorrow, the next day where I talk about how I got work with SpaceX and, and going out and getting the right contracts. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get the right contracts and the right vision, you can't pay your employees well and then there's going to be a vicious circle because they they feel like you're not paying them well. You feel like they're not doing well, but you're not bringing in the work to actually allow them to actually make good money and have a good opportunity 
at lifting you up, right? So there's this vicious circle. So I'm gonna do another one that's directed at employers. So uh, if your employees hold your guys accountable, your employers, and, and let them see the video. But for you guys, employees, just make sure you bring excellence. Make sure that you raise the company to greatness. Make sure that you you bring positivity, no negativity, right? Everybody wants to be around a positive person. People don't want to be around a negative person. You know, in my shop, I'm all about my team. It, I've had to make self, like, hard decisions, you know, with separating myself from, you know, employees in the past just because, you know, I was looking for a certain culture. I was looking for people that lift up other people and I was looking for people that could get in line with my vision to go after the impossible, right? And But right now, you talk to any of my guys, I mean, they love their jobs. We're all part of a team. We're a big family, you know, and everything's good. Like, my, my guys, like, you know, they're, they're, next week is like the UFC fight. I'm just like, hey, you guys, come over to the house. Like, let's watch the fight. You know what I mean? Let's be family. Let's, like, break bread together. Like, we're in this together, making it happen. So, anyway... You guys have a great Sunday. God bless everybody out there. Take care. Boom.